next thing I want to go over is custom visualizations. So how do you actually bring in custom visualizations? Now, the first thing that you want to do for custom visualizations is you want to go, you want to jump to Google. So let's jump to Google and let's find the visual, visualization. Uh, let's find the visualization page. So I'm going to go just write in custom visuals, Power BI, and that's going to take me to the visual, visuals gallery. Now in the visual gallery, you will have all of these different options of these visualizations that you can bring into Power BI. And there's some great visualizations here. It is improving all the time. It's, 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 it's probably quadrupled in the last few months actually in terms of the visualizations which are coming on board. And there's so many different ways that you can utilize these uh, within your models. But the way to actually bring them into your model is you need to actually download it. So you download the visual like so. And by downloading it, you download it to your computer. And then this is how you actually bring it in. So in, um, in the visualization palette, you have these three dots. So if you uh, select those and go import a custom visual, what that does is it, it allows you to go and navigate towards that file that you've just downloaded. And so what I've done is I have, uh, I have got a file of all of these custom visualizations. So it's in my Power BI file. And so I have all of these downloaded custom visualizations and all I need to do is double click on the one that I want. And so in this case, I'm gonna go for the Sparkline by OKViz. OK and I double click on that. And then within my palette, that visualization is now going to appear. And I can use this visualization the same as I use any other visualization. It's just like, it's just a click. Uh, and you can, um, but you've obviously got to make sure that you put in the correct parameters uh, for that for that visualization. So every visualization has different parameters or variables that you can put into it, and uh, it's just a matter of making sure they're correct, and then you can easily easily create that visualization as well. So custom visuals very easy to create, and highly recommend just having a play around and seeing which one works well. The one thing to note with custom visuals is that they're not actually supported by Microsoft in a lot of cases. And I have run into some issues if you wanted to view them on mobile devices like iPads or iPhones. Sometimes their performance is, is, uh, is relatively poor. So those are just some considerations that you've got to, uh, that you've got to think of uh, when you are uh, utilizing those um, custom, custom visuals.